What we've set up so far in our script is uh, simply two basic checks. The first check is whether or not uh, geolocation is even a function available. And the second thing is, uh, did you get the positioning? And we said that, well, if you did get the positioning, then execute our function called get location. Now we have yet to say what get location does. So if we're going to preview our script, there, you know, it just basically it clicks it. A little dialog box from some browsers uh, comes up and says, "Do you want to share the location?" If I click share location, well, nothing happens. So let's actually enable something to happen. Uh, here we have get function. Let's not get too crazy for now. We'll just say document write. Pretty simple. And uh, we'll say document write. Well, what are you going to write on here? Um, how about we say something like we received your location. Big brother is on the way to get you right now. Uh, let's see. This will scare our users plenty. Uh, all right. Well, actually, let's go here. Let's uh, give it another go in our browser, and we'll see. Okay. Let's click the button to check it. Here's our stop, and all right. So it did work. Very nice. Well, what you notice is that we have something. We have a check whether or not geolocation is available an if else and if you recall when we started looking at the get current position you see that get current position has not only a success callback which is required because it has to say well if I got it what do you want me to do now otherwise don't bother asking uh, but it also has an error callback which says well I didn't get the current position what now? So what we're going to do for that is actually add another function. And why don't we say, uh, we'll put a comma in here, and we'll say location fail. And for location fail, it's going to be the same thing like our get location. And we'll go function location fail. And now, well, we're just going to put something else in here, uh, just some other text. Uh, let's say, well, we got to bait the people into getting their location. So let's say uh, we did not get your location. Please check your settings. We need your location to send you a free iPhone 5 course they're going to give up their location with all that freeness. Um, so let's see how this would work. Now this isn't, I'll tell you what, uh, this isn't always consistent but I know consistently this works if the privacy settings are set. So let me show you a situation where, where this will clearly uh, execute our location fail. Um, Chrome locally doesn't support geolocation. It's just the way the browser is built. I'm not sure, at least currently the the one I'm, uh, let's see, Chrome as of, uh, I'm using version 22. So Chrome, once we click here, we did not get your location. So we got actually the failure code. Um, if we uploaded this to the web, and you see over here that it says the following pages have been blocked. Um, if we uploaded this to our server and we accepted it, then it would give it to us. So let me just show you. So obviously in Firefox, which does do it, we're going to click it. It's going to present this with a dialog box that Chrome does not, and it's going to share our location. And then, whoa, here's the text telling us about Big Brother coming. Um, so that's just the difference. Actually, Internet Explorer is nice in the sense that um, we could adjust our privacy settings. So uh, here, let me put it on IE9. So first off, here we go. I'm going to click here, and it's going to tell me, do I want to track your physical location? I'll go allow once, and we received your location, blah, 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 right? But if I go into the privacy settings, 
of Explorer Privacy. Never allow websites to request your location. Apply. And we try this again. Uh, let's see if I could refresh the document this way. And I click it. Yeah, we did not get your location. Now, um, I guess the point being is, is that when you do start playing with this, uh, things are changing a bit. Sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't consistently. So go through each browser that you're targeting and see what the results are because you want to make sure that you're getting that. Because right now you're, you're adding some kind of uh, feedback. Let's see. Actually, some error handling, right? Because check this out geolocation, if you say don't allow, see. The actually Safari plays the nicest in this regard because check this out it doesn't quite our error handling doesn't work that nicely in Firefox for example we go click and we may say not now but but you notice how it doesn't actually so it it prompted us for the geolocation we said no but it didn't actually execute our location fail where um Safari did. Now, you see, we did not get your location one more time, and when we allow, it says we did get your location. So, anyway, uh, I guess the bigger point is is that you need to kind of play around with this yourself a bit and see what kind of results you can anticipate.